All right, hello my fellow coders. So I wanted to create this video just to go over the process of importing an existing uh, assignment or exercise files or whatever the case may be. Uh, just because some people are having some issues with it, and I just want to make sure that there is nothing, uh, you know, strange happening or, or what what have you. So I've uh, I've opened up my Spring Tool Suite here, and what you didn't see behind the scenes was that I downloaded the practice uh, assignment number three, uh, or rather the the files from from video 3 and it's right here in my downloads directory and what I did was I took the zip file I right clicked on it I went to my 7-zip my trusty 7-zip and I just extracted it to um, a folder called video 3 uh, which will then exist inside of the downloads directory alright so I did that behind the scenes already that's all I did the files have been extracted they're in the video 3 uh, folder if I were to navigate to it uh, well it's clearly not on here right now um, I can't find it just because well I wonder if it would have deleted it anyway we'll, we'll take a look at that and see if we can find it if not then I can always extract it again so inside of our spring tool suite I'm going to create a project now this part is very important that we create sort of the blank Java project I'm just going to call it uh, practice uh, video 3 or something like that and I will just say finish so what that will do, I don't want to switch perspectives, so I'll say no. What that will do is it'll create a, uh, a new Java project. Right here you can see I have one called Divisors, but that's okay. We're not going to be uh, looking at that one at all. We're just looking at Practice Video 3. Now if I expand it, you see the source folder is empty. There's nothing in here. So what we need to do is populate this uh, folder with, well, a project, right? So let's right-click on it. Let's go to, and now it's very important that you right click on practice video 3, not outside of it or something. Right click on the practice video 3 itself, go to import, and then choose uh, inside of the general folder, choose file system, and say next. And then browse to that directory that I was just talking about where we um, had uh, extracted it to the downloads folder. So I'm going to go to the downloads folder and I'm going to go down and here it is video number three and you can see that it extracted all the uh, sort of folders within it. So there we go. I'm going to select video three and I'm going to make sure I check it inside of uh, this what little box here, whatever you want to call this, this area if you will, to make sure that it's selected and it is. I will say finish. It will ask me to overwrite the class path. I don't recommend doing that because usually that will take my files that I have stored in my class path and my setup and, and it will overwrite your class path which not doesn't always work very well. That's why I always recommend to say no to all. And uh, if all goes well, I mean, it should appear there inside of your source folder. So you should have your source folder populated. Uh, in this case, it's for the control structures. And we're able to see the, um, the actual uh, code that, that I had actually you know, created inside of video 3 when I was talking about the control structures. Now, if something goes wrong here, if it doesn't show up, one thing you can do is right-click on Practice Video 3 or whatever project you created and hit the Refresh uh, option or you can hit F5 but I, I prefer if you right clicked and clicked on the refresh option sometimes that will just grab the folders or whatever that have been imported that may not be showing up right away don't understand why that would happen but who knows stranger things have happened um, and uh, and you should be good to go so if I'm able to go in here I should be able to click on it right click and go to run as and say Java application and there you go, it's uh, outputting the whatever it is that I expect to see inside of my console so the program is working appropriately. So hopefully that helps uh, you guys out who are having problems with the import. If it's still not working, by all means reach out in the forums and I will do the best I can as to help you uh, getting uh, up and running. Alright, so until next time, bye for now.